Hi friends, it's Joy with In Search of Joy Wellness. Thank you for joining me today for a sixth session to uh, clear the stagnant energies out of our chakras. Today we're going to be focusing on the sixth chakra and that is the uh, third eye chakra. And this is the chakra where we have our connection to God. It's actually the pineal gland. And this is where we can actually start to visualize our dreams and our intentions and bringing them into this earthly plane. And what I mean by that is really having that communication with God and allowing his blessings to enrich your life and accept the abundance that is your divine right, basically. Um, that communication with God and the more we surrender with God we see the fruits of the blessings that can happen so let's get started I'm seated on a I'm seated on a block I can never say that word right and uh, I have my feet not fully sukhasana I like to have one foot behind and then the other foot just in front um, it's much more comfortable for me to sit that way. I'm going to have my hands facing, uh, palms facing the sky, just to receive the beautiful energy. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get started with an easy breath. Again, we're going to do a four count inhalation. We'll hold for two counts and then exhale for six counts. And the reason we're doing this for the uh, past six weeks is to get you guys, especially if you're new with yoga, getting your breath to connect with the movement of your body. The breath is so important because it actually will bring you peace. If we start to, um, we're holding a pose that's uncomfortable, we tend to bring our breath up to our, our chest and it feels more like of a, a panic mode for our bodies. So the more that we learn how to when we're standing in a pose that's challenging, we have to learn how to breathe in deeply and that sends a, a trigger response inside the body that tells your body, it's okay, everything's fine, there's no reason to panic. So, that's the reason why we're practicing this controlled breath. So let's get started. Go ahead and exhale all the uh, oxygen out of your lungs and on an inhale one two three four hold one two exhale six five four three two one inhale one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now go ahead and do this three more rounds at your own count. Return to a normal breath. Flutter your eyes open. And we will go ahead and come into our first pose. So remove whatever you're sitting on. Let's go ahead and move into tabletop. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders, hips over your knees. 
Keep your toes tucked because this will help with stability and we are going to do a balancing table. So on an inhale, we're going to reach the right arm out in front of you, extended long like you're reaching for someone's hand. And on another inhale, we're going to reach the left foot back, so opposites, as if somebody is pulling back on your toes, keeping the hips level. And then on an exhale, we're going to bring it in, knee touching elbow, tucking the chin to the chest. And on an inhale, reach back out, extending long. Exhale, bring it all in. Inhale, stretch it out long. We'll do it one more time. Exhale, bring it all in. Inhale, stretch it out long. Exhale, return the hand and the knee to the mat. And we will switch to the other side. Inhale, raising the left arm, extending out in front of you, reaching for your friend's hand. Tucking the back toe. I always forget that, tucking the left toe. On an inhale, lifting and extending the right leg back out as if somebody was pulling on your toes pushing the ground away with that right arm exhale bring it all in inhale extend long exhale bring it all in inhale extend out long exhale Bring it all in, inhale, extend it out long. Your next exhale, return the hand and the knee to the mat. From here, we are gonna move into our flow. So, tucking the back toes, we're gonna to go into our first downward dog for the day. Tucking our toes, on an exhale, sending the hips up and back. <clears throat> I apologize for that. Make sure that the biceps are alongside the ears, planting the hands, making sure you're not dumping all the weight into the wrist. Really, your weight is in your fingertips and the first finger and the thumb. You can settle into your dog by bending one leg, bending the other, and then we're going to go ahead and find some stillness here. So on an inhale, go ahead and step or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Light cobra in the back, crown of the head reaching to the front of the, reaching out in front of you. Exhale, fold. Inhale, pressing the feet so much into the mat with a slight bend in the knees, rounding the spine as we come to standing, hands beat above the head as the gaze looks at the thumbs on an exhale. Tightening tummy muscles, bending forward. Forward fold, planting the hands. We are going to come back into downward facing dog. We're going to drop our knees. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to come into a child's pose. On an inhale, you're going to plant your forearms on the ground and we're going to like basically try to keep your nose as close to the mat as possible. And we're going to slide on through into low cobra. So on inhale, keep the, keeping the nose low to the ground. Slide through. Okay. Exhale. We will come into downward facing dog. So.
So on an inhale, lift the right leg. And then on exhale, step that right foot in between the hands. Dropping the back knee. We're going to come into a low lunge. On exhale, planting the hands, pick up the knee. We're going to step that left leg through, meeting the right foot in a forward fold. On inhale, pressing the feet so much into the mat. We're going to come up into standing, hands meet above the head. On exhale, hands to heart center. I'm going to turn to face you guys so you can see what's going on. What we're going to do here is we are going to do a, <laughs> we're going to do a, a figure four. So inhale, hands to heart center. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the right leg and then we are going to bend the left leg. So take the right leg in a figure four ankle on the knee. Breathe here. Inhale, come to standing, planting the right foot back to the mat. And we will switch and we will do the figure four on the opposite side. Right? No, actually, we're going to go ahead and do our flow. So let me face the top of the mat here. On inhale. Forward fold, planting the hands, we'll step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, slight cobra in the back. You can bring your hands to your shins, crown of the head reaching forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, planting the feet so much in the ground with a slight bend in the knees, rounding the back as we come to standing. Hands meet above the head as the gaze looks at the thumbs. Exhale, tightening the, tightening the tummy muscles, bending forward, forward fold. Planting the hands, stepping back into downward facing dog. We will drop our knees and we will come into child. Planting the forearms into the ground. On an inhale, we will slide the body through into low cobra. Make sure that your gaze is soft. You're not jerking back your neck. Shoulders are up and back. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. And we will do the other side. Inhale, lifting the left foot up, tripod dog. Exhale, step that left foot through. Dropping the back knee. On inhale, lifting the torso, low lunge. Planting the hands, lifting the right knee, and stepping that right foot, pushing it forward to meet the left foot, forward fold. Inhale, pressing the feet so much into the ground. We come into Dasana. Hands meet above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. And I will face you again, and we will do the other side, figure four, standing pose. So placing all of the weight onto your <laughs> left foot or left leg, we're going to lift the right foot or the left foot and the ankle, the left ankle is going to be right above the knee. Woo, I'm losing my balance here. Hands in heart, hands to heart center. If you press your um, thumbs into your sternum and your sternum into your thumbs, it really helps you try uh, keep a 
balance. And we're going to sit back, take a seat, and we are going to do our figure four seated, standing seated pose. Not exactly sure what this is called. <laughs> And breathe here. Keeping the spine lengthened, crown of the head reaching to the sky, shoulders up, shoulders down and back, I should say. Ex exhale, dropping the left foot, come to standing. And we will do our flow. This will be the last flow of. I mean, this will be the last flow, and then we come into our uh, groundwork, our mat work. So inhale, exhale, forward fold, planting the hands. I'm going to plant my hands and step back in a downward facing dog, because I was kind of in the middle of the mat. On exhale, inhale, I mean, step or jump to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, planting the feet so much into the ground. Slight bend in the knees. Bringing the torso up one vertebra at a time as the hands meet above the head as the gaze follows. Exhale, fold forward. Planting the hands, stepping back. Downward facing dog, dropping the knees to the mat. We're going to come into child. Inhale, slither forward to low cobra. Bringing the shoulders up and back, not jerking the neck back, keeping that, keeping that gaze heavy. Exhale, tucking the toes, bringing the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. From here, let's go ahead and drop our knees to the mat. What we're gonna do here is called a half camel. I was gonna do a dancing camel with you, but I think I need more practice on alignment myself uh, to help with um, facilitating the camel properly to show you guys so you don't hurt your back, low back especially. So on an inhale, let's go ahead and come to our knees. I'm going to tuck my toes for stability, also to reach um, my heel. Sometimes I get a little direction lost and I can't find my heel. Really, it's a, weird, it's a real thing. But on a camel, what we want to do is we want to pretend that there's a wall right in front of us. Okay? And because we're going to bend from this part of the body right here, we're not going to bend back this way with our legs. Our legs need to stay forward. They're gonna be like our stability, our trunk, okay? This part of our leg. So you wanna make sure that your hip bones are glued to this imaginary wall. And we are going to raise, I'm gonna show you from a good angle so you don't see it backwards. You're gonna raise the right hand, keeping the, uh, excuse me, keeping your spine lengthened Shoulders up and back, gaze is forward, and we're going to reach our left hand and touch the back of our heel. As we make sure that we keep those hips glued to the imaginary wall, we'll start to reach the torso back. Now, if you can't quite get this, move because we'll have to come out of it slowly too if you just want to practice putting your hand on your low back here i need to adjust my back a little bit so coming back up you can put your low your hand on your low back here pretend that you're again gluing those hips to that imaginary wall and just reach back this way with a slight bend. And actually, I think I'm gonna do that today because my low back is not like Evie. On an exhale, you're going to start to shift 
the hips back as you bring the body up as your hips go back to your knees so you don't like jerk this low part of the body um i don't know about you guys i have low back issues i've had low back issues my whole life i do yoga i'm a cyclist I'm pretty active and that's one part of the body that has has really been a, a challenge for me so let's go ahead and do the other side excuse me guys i need to ch my nose ring is coming out I'm not picking my nose <laughs> on an inhale let's come to our knees raising the left hand Placing the back hand, raising the left hand to the sky, say this right, placing the right hand behind your sacrum, gluing your hips to that imaginary wall as we start to lean back. Breathe here and then see to hold our breath. Inhale, start to shift the hips back as you start to bring the torso forward, bringing the hips to the knees, or bringing the hips to the heels. Shall we do it one more time? Or do you think we've had enough? I think we could do it one more time. Let's do the other side. Let's do it each side one more time. Inhale, coming to our knees, gluing our hips to that imaginary wall, placing our left hand by our sacrum, Lifting the right arm as we start to lean the torso back. Thank you, dear, beautiful Lord, for giving us this beautiful body. Exhale. Start to move. As we come up, bringing our body back. Other side, inhale, up on our knees. Right hand to our sacrum, left hand reaching the sky, planting our hips on that imaginary wall, reaching the top. You can tighten your glute muscles too. Was it just thought about that? Exhale, starting to shift the hips back, bringing them back to your heels. Woo, that felt good. Go ahead and plant our hands in tabletop. Untuck the toes and come into a child. Oh. Let's go ahead and take a restorative child with our arms alongside our legs where our hands can touch our feet. Hmm. On an inhale, plant your hands. We're going to go ahead and come up to seated. Shift your hip, shift your weight over to one side or the other. So that we can bring our, extend our legs out in front of us. And we are going to do plow. So with plow, we're going to lay on our backs. i make sure my clippies aren't in the way. From our backs, bending your knees, and we're gonna bring our knees to our chest. We're gonna use our hands, our arms, to um, like leverage our weight. Because on an inhale, we're gonna extend the legs up to the sky, straight, straight, pointing our toes up, up to the sky. Okay. On an inhale, we're gonna start to lift our torso up. Now your legs can come forward a little bit, but we're gonna start to lift the torso up and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we protect the low back so place your hands here on the low back as you start to extend your legs up to the sky as your hands kind of crawl down your back your weight will be on your shoulders and I would say your 
bicep area. Making sure that your legs and your torso are straight, straight up to the sky. Your neck is long, not crunched in. On your next exhale, start to bend the legs around the head area as you roll your torso down one vertebra at a time. You don't hurt your back. We can lay here for a moment. And we're going to come up and we are going to do plow one more time, but we're going to do it. If you can extend it, your feet down and bring them above your head. So this is, this is a new pose for me to cue. So I hope you guys are, can, can understand it. So inhale, extend, putting your arms long on the mat, bring your knees up to your chest, extending the legs long. On an inhale, we're going to start to lift the torso as we straighten the legs. Legs up are starting to go up to the sky. You can keep your hands if you're strong enough, but to support the low back, I suggest putting your hands up here on your low back of your body, keeping your elbows glued to the mat. And on inhale, you extend the feet up to the sky. Keeping the neck and the long the neck long. Pretend that you have like an orange in between your chest and chin. Now on exhale, you're gonna start to bend at the hips, just at the hips, keeping the torso straight. And you're gonna bring those toes down to the mat. Woo! Slowly, tippy toe on the mat, keeping the legs strong. You can keep your hands up at the low back, or you can put them on the back of, lay them down on the mat, keeping them long. On an exhale, start to bend the knees along by the face, bringing your hands up to your like booty area and start to roll assist the roll down one vertebra at a time so you don't freak your back and in the knees oh. from here we're gonna do a figure four stretch and it's gonna be like a it's basically a supine or a reclined pigeon so on inhale you're gonna go ahead and lift the right leg, placing that right ankle on the left knee, keeping a figure four here in the legs. On an exhale, you're going to reach the right hand through this hole here, and you can either meet the hands behind the calf here, or if you want, you can place the hands, in, uh, clasp the hands in front of the shin, the left shin. As you keep your sacrum, glued to the mat keeping that figure four as you pull in what am i saying pulling that knee in that left knee towards the chest feeling that stretch way out in the outer i feel it out in my outer hip and breathe Next exhale, go ahead and drop that left leg to the mat and we'll switch and do other, the other side. <clears throat> so on an inhale, 
crossing the left ankle over the right knee, keeping a figure four, keeping that open. On an inhale, we're going to reach through, grabbing the back of the thigh or the knee. You can even push out on this uh, left ankle to keep it uh, in that figure four if you want more of a stretch on the inner thigh and the hip. Keeping your sacrum glued to the mat, pulling in the right knee. Breathe. On your next exhale, go ahead and drop the right knee to the mat. Drop the left leg to the mat, left foot to the mat, and extend out your legs. I'm off the mat, so I'm going to scoot up a little bit. Extend your legs long. Bring your hands to a natural, naturally by your side. Hard to think of cues sometimes. Let your feet fall naturally open. Thank yourself for showing up today. Thank yourself for showing up this week or these past several weeks. Feeling your hips on the mat, feeling your shoulder blades, your neck, I mean your neck, your head. It'd be kind of hard to feel your neck on the mat. <laughs> feeling your calves, the back of your hands. Feeling your breath, is it calm? Feeling the energy in your body. And inhale, go ahead and start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing your knees into your chest. Rolling over to one side or the other. Staying in this fetal position for a moment. Using this top arm to press into the mat. So we come into a seated position. Thank you friends for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed this session. This is hope. This is hope. I really hope you enjoyed this session to open up our third eye chakra. I hope your meditations go well this afternoon or this evening, whenever you are 
practicing those. And I appreciate you guys letting me be a part of your practice. I'm a new yoga teacher, as you can tell. And I really want to bring this practice to people that um, are unsure, kind of nervous, and um, don't think that they can do yoga. You know what? Anybody can do yoga. Anybody can do yoga. I started doing yoga at the age of 45 years old, and I have been doing it for several years now, and I'm very proud of myself. So never say you can never do anything or you can't do it because you can. Thank yourself for showing up today. Thank you again. I will see you next week where we will work on our crown chakra. And uh, yeah, that'll be our final session for that series. If you like my video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. See you next week.